So I think it's pretty clear that audiences are getting a little bit tired of the same old nonsense when it comes to horror movies. I just watched a video on some horror films that are actually scary, and I thought it had some pretty good picks. Also, the video was stuck on 666,000 views. I hope that's not a sign. One of the films covered was Sinister, which I have always praised and I think is still a fantastic film. And the other one is Hereditary. And I recently showed one of my friends the scene where Charlie loses her consciousness, let's say, and you see it on the road later on. And I showed this to my friend and he was a little bit traumatized by it, which I felt really bad for because he's actually older than me. So I didn't think it would phase him that much, but I saw him a couple of days ago and he said, man, that thing still haunts me. The first scene discussed here is from Zhu Ang, the original version of The Grudge, and involves this woman who's in her bed and she eventually realizes that there is another evil being with underneath her blanket. Of course, she doesn't run away or anything. She just sort of waits there because, you know, maybe it's her boyfriend that's sneaking up on her. But eventually the thing pops up and it's a very creepy moment. The whole thing is accompanied by a very creepy score. <laughs> kind of sounds like the background music from a video game that you get out of a Kellogg's box, but it was very effective. And the video made an interesting point that it's the creepy scenes that, of course, make up these scary movies. If you have enough great creepy scenes in a row, that's what makes the movie actually scary. And I very much agree with that. There's one film that I saw recently that very much fits in with that, and that is Barbarian, where we follow Tess, who goes into an Airbnb that ends up being double booked. So she's there with another guy. And already on the first night, things seem a little bit off, but nothing actually happens until the next day. There, Tess ends up in the basement that locks behind her and there's no handle from the inside so she can't get out. This leads to her discovering a long hidden path within the basement that leads into a room where there's a camera, a bed, and a blood stain on the wall. Luckily she's not entirely stupid so she gets out of there and just tries to find a way out of the basement, which she does eventually get when the guy arrives back at the house. But then he goes in there and wants to explore, because apparently this place is very inviting. Then he just doesn't come back and Tess is kind of forced to look further into this creepy hallway. That's when she discovers a door that opens that has a staircase leading down into pitch blackness. And this was one of those moments that made me feel like a kid again. It's such a scary moment that really relies on the atmosphere and the location alone, which I think is one of the best kinds of horror. And the movie does something very interesting, and that's that there are very subtle, quiet sounds which you can just barely hear if you really pay attention. She hears someone calling for help, so she goes in further, and eventually sees something in the darkness. Even though you see it in the trailer, you don't really know what happens. So when this thing approaches, you don't know what it is at first, and it freaked me out. So have you guys ever been recommended a video from like five years ago or ten years ago? Well, that just happened to me and a lot of other people with this thing. Here we can see a recording that was apparently made with a little camera that you can buy for the Game Boy. There's this clown at night that stands in the middle of a dirt road and stops a car. But then the driver actually gets out and supposedly shoots the clown. No! By the way, this video says that it's published in 2016, but it looks like it's from 2004. I mean, seriously, this camera quality is worse than my thing. Is YouTube blind? There's no way that this is HD. So then this little animation spins up and asks us if we think if it was real or fake. You know, was this staged like everything else on YouTube, or did we just witness an actual execution that just been on YouTube for the better part of a decade and nobody bothered to take it down? I don't know. Let's see what the comments say. Why is YouTube just suddenly recommending me videos from the 2016 clown craze? I don't know, man. YouTube is just recommending me bangers this week. By the way, I really like this driver. Instead of just going past the clown or backing up, he gets out of the car and after the clown puts his hands up and yells that it's a prank, then he starts shooting him. Like, what is this, found footage from The Purge? Now if I tell you that there's a film where a man gets bitten by a spider and has magic powers, what do you think of? If you think of Spider-Man, you're wrong, because there's actually this upcoming horror film that I couldn't even believe it was real when I first saw it. The spider. Man, this looks interesting. Now, I didn't think that this was real because in a previous video, we talked about channels that publish fake movie trailers that oftentimes show things that are physically impossible, like The Rock with Hair. Sometimes these channels will also publish trailers for films that don't exist. And that's what I thought this was at first. But it went on the director's Instagram, and it seems like this thing is actually happening. Now, usually you have to wait until the IP is in the public domain to make a horror version of an already established property, but this guy just said, screw it, 
all do it anyway, and I really hope it works. That would be hilarious. I really hope that he doesn't get sued by Marvel. I want to see where this goes. I mean, a horror version of Spider-Man? Totally in for it. So that was my incredibly weird week with YouTube videos. I was recommended just a bunch of weird stuff this week, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I hope you like it. I hope that I get to see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.